But the proof is always in the pudding, so let's see how it shoots. The Crimson Trace Optic comes from Springfield Armory, dialed in, or it seems to be dialed in pretty well. I have not touched it, and I'm going to trust it. Let's see how it is. Okay, nine rounds of Remington UMC, 115 grain ball. All right. Well, it looks like this Crimson Trace Optic is uh, pretty well dialed in. If you buy it equipped with the Optic, the XDS-9 OSP comes with the Crimson Trace CTS-1500. It's a nice little optic. It is a fixed 5 MOA reticle. It's automatic on, automatic off, and automatic brightness adjustment. So it really is put a battery in it, mount it, and forget about it. And in my opinion, and that's the one you get here, <laughs> that is just about perfect for what you'd want on a concealed carry gun. I don't want anything I've got to mess with. I don't want to have to worry about turning it on, remembering to turn it off. I don't want to have to worry about adjusting my brightness in various conditions because you don't know when you're going to need your emergency rescue equipment. And when you do, you don't want to have to think about how do I turn this on? How do I turn the brightness up? How do I turn the brightness down? Any of that stuff. I'm also kind of liking the 5 MOA. It's a nice sweet spot for a reticle size at most self-defense distances. Keeping the red dot on target is not very difficult, I'm finding, not nearly as hard as you might think when you think about the snappy recoil of a small pistol and having that dot bouncing around. I'm really not having any problem. I'm not losing sight of my red dot in between shots, which is a very good thing. Okay, 
let's take a little bit of a closer look at the new XDS9 OSP with the mounted Crimson Trace optic. So again, this is the CT1500. That's the model of the optic. You can see the red dot right there. It is always on, but it does go to sleep, and then it comes, it basically has that shake awake technology that wakes up when you pick it up, which is great. The uh, brightness of the red dot is automatically adjusted by the site. That is sometimes good, sometimes not so good, but I have found this one to be pretty good at adjusting its brightness, whether I'm indoors, outdoors, cloudy day, sunny day, that type of thing. It's a pretty nice fit onto the pistol. You can see that it is just a tiny, tiny bit wider than the slide itself. So let's take a quick look. I'm going to measure, first I'm going to measure the slide right in front of the optic. And of course it's an XDS, so it is wearing its skinny jeans at 912. That's what I'm getting. And now if I measure the optic, you can see that it is, <laughs> you can see that my caliper needs a new battery, but you can see that it's just barely over an inch. Like maybe maybe ten thousandths over an inch. Also a very nice fit down into the slide. You can see that right there in profile. See that it sits down in there really nice. So they've only changed a couple of things to accommodate this in addition to the obvious which is a removable plate. It does come with a plate. I'll show you that in a second. They changed the rear sight so that it will accommodate having this optic in front of it so it's a much shorter sight than the traditional XDS9 and they also changed the loaded chamber indicator from being that long lever that protruded upward when the uh, chamber was loaded that you could feel to being a little peephole that you could look down into and see the brass if there was a round in the chamber and just for quick contrast here is the original XDS9. You can see that long lever loaded chamber indicator and now you have just a visual loaded chamber indicator. And you can also see the difference in the rear sight. You can see why they had to change the loaded chamber indicator to accommodate being able to cut it out for a optic. Those are the only changes The OSP version of the XDS9 comes in this soft nylon case that is padded and uh, lockable as well. Uh, that is pretty much the new delivery method or delivery system for Springfield Armory handguns. And that's basically the way it comes right there. You have a second magazine, which is the extended magazine. And then you also have a plastic cover for your optic so you can keep it protected when it's not in use which is nice and it's also going to probably help the battery life because it'll help keep it turned off there's a nice quality polymer cover plate provided with the pistol that includes the screws and even little, little wrenches to attach it So if you're wondering how mounting this Crimson Trace CTS 1500 or other similar red dots is going to affect your ability to holster the Springfield Armory XDS9, well, that's a very good concern or consideration. I had it myself, but I did take a chance and I reached out to what's really kind of become my go-to holster company, and that's Blade Tech. They've got this new version of the clipped holster that fits the XDS9, and guess what? It fits perfect with this optic. It's cut almost as if it was made for it, even though I know it really wasn't. There'll be a separate review coming on this holster, probably a short one, but I do want to talk to you about this holster, what I like and what I don't like about it. And we'll do that in the near future. Meanwhile, sort of my uh, 
my final thoughts for range testing with this XDS9 OSP is that it is everything that the XDS9 has always been and I'm a fan, I will tell you, of the XDS9. And now you have the option of having that red dot optic on it. Of course, even if you buy it with the red dot optic, the way you see it here, you can always take it off. It does come with a plate that you can put on there and cover up that cutout. Well, after a full day at the range, it does seem like it's holding its zero just fine, so that's a good thing. I think they've done a nice job.